My husband and I were excited at the opportunity of growing our family. We already had a beautiful two-year-old daughter and I thought, I, I started to feel some abdominal swelling and I thought that it was an early sign of pregnancy. I went for an ultrasound and I could tell by the ultrasound technicians, by, the, by her face and her behavior, that something wasn't right and it, it wasn't a baby. My name is Elisa and I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer when I was 29 years old. I don't think your mind goes to cancer right away. In the back of my mind, it was always something that could, it could be a tumor, but I, I couldn't let my mind get to that place. We initially went to City of Hope for a second opinion. I was all in. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. Everyone knew the severity of the situation, but they still look at you with compassion. When my family and I met with Dr. Morgan, we had a lot of questions. One of mine, obviously, being 29 diagnosed with cancer, is what do I have to do to live? And he looked at me and he said, we're gonna beat this. And, and I hung on those words. It's not you're gonna beat this, it's we're gonna beat this. And I just kept that in the back of my head. This is beatable. I can do this, we can do this. City of Hope's behind me, Dr. Morgan's behind me, and they're gonna take care of me. And we are going to beat this. The day before I was diagnosed with cancer, I never thought I needed City of Hope. I got to tell everyone I am a survivor because of City of Hope.